electrolysis is a word composed by two parts. Electro, which stands for electricity, and lysis, which stands for breaking down. So electrolysis is a chemical reaction which uses electricity to break down substance. The setup you are seeing on the screen is for an electrolytic cell and it is used to carry out electrolysis. Once again, I want you to take your workbooks and try to identify and name the main part of this cell as well as their respective functions. The main functions of an electrolytic cell are these ones, as you're seeing them on the screen. First, we have a power supply. And the power supply is this one, the big one in red. It also has a switch, which can help to switch on or switch off the power supply. We also have a light bulb here. And the light bulb is used to show if electricity is being conducted. We have some connecting wires. We have the red one here and the blue one here. And on this side, we also have a container which contains the solution to be used in the electrolysis and two electrodes, you can see them here, the blue rods here. One is the cathode and the other one is the anode and this will be discussed later in this video. Now let us see how different solutions behave when electric current passes through them. Let's start with water. What happens when we switch on the power supply? You can see the power supply now is on. You can see the green light here. When it is off, there is no green light. You can see it gets off. So let us switch on to supply the power and see what happens when we are using water. When we use water, remember it is this substance we have selected to be used for the first. And when we use this water, you can see the light bulb is not giving light. It can be seen from different angles. You can rotate this diagram here. The image here can be rotated. So if whether you look it from this or that angle, there is no light to so mean that electricity is not conducted. What happens when we use a sugar solution? You can see the color of our solution has changed and the power supply is still on, but there is no light here. And what does this mean? It means that the two solutions, this water and the sugar solution, they are non-electrolyte. Non-electrolyte means that they cannot conduct electricity. Non-electrolytes cannot conduct electricity because when dissolved in water, they don't produce free moving iron to help in the conductivity or in the movement of electricity. Now, let us see what happens when we use a salt solution. When we use a salt solution, something different happens. You can see in the solution, we have some particles which are moving. We have the black ones with a negative charge and the red ones with a positive charge. And there is another thing very interesting here. You can see now the light bulb is producing light. Why? Because electricity is being conducted. So a salt solution is a good electrolyte it can conduct electricity. You can even see that on the diagram, the electrons are moving. You can see the light from different angles. It is producing a lot of light. 
Now, let us see, have a closer look, sorry, to what happens in the container. We have the negative ions, which are moving towards the positive electrode, and the positive ions, which are moving towards the negative electrode. This is making sense, as we know that the positive moves to the negative, and the negative moves to the positive. Like charges repair, while unlike charges attract. Now, what happens at each electrode? At the positive electrode, we have the anions, these negative particles, which will be oxidized. What is the meaning of oxidation? Oxidation means loss of electrons. So the anions at this positive electrode will lose their electrons. And we say that oxidation is for anions and it is done at the anode. So this positive electrode is the anode. What happens to the other electrode? We have positive ions, the cations, which will be reduced. And we know that reduction takes place at the cathode and it involves cations. And then this anode, sorry, this negative electrode is the cathode. How can we remember this in an easy way? We will use what I'm going to show you here. So if you don't know how to remember what happens at each electrode and what is the polarity of each electrode as well as the name of the electrode, this is what we can use. We just don't panic. What does it mean? In this word, don't panic, we have P, A, N, I, and C. And what does this mean? It shows that we have the P, which stands for positive, the A, which stands for A anode, N for negative, and I for ease, and C for cathode. So in panic, we have positive is anode and negative is cathode. Positive is anode and negative is cathode. Very simple, don't panic, you will always remember that. And here we have another mnemonic to help us remember what happens at each electrode. We have CRC, and that is to mean that we have consonants only. We have C, which stands for cations, and R standing for reduced, and C again for cathode. So the cations are reduced at the cathode. And we also have A or A, where we have anions are oxidized at the anode. I repeat, anions are oxidized at the anode. We have A or A, you can see it is vowels only. So when you don't mix these vowels and consonants, you make sure that you know what happens at each electrode. And next, we have the meaning of oxidation and the meaning of reduction. Oxidation is loss and reduction is gain. And from this, we get this. We get oil re. Oil re. Oxidation is loss and reduction is gain. What are the general equations for the reactions which take place at each electrode. At the anode, we have oxidation of ions. It is oxidation at the anode, remember, for anions, vowel one. And here we have an anion which has lost one electron 
to produce to become an atom and produce one electron. At the cathode, we have a reduction which involves cation, CRC. So we have our metallic cation, which gains one electron to produce an atom. An example, we have electrolysis of molten magnesium chloride. What will be the product at each electrode? At the anode, we have two chloride ions losing two electrons to produce one mole of chlorine molecules. And at the cathode is the reduction. We have magnesium gaining two electrons to produce one mole of magnesium. Some of the uses of electrolysis are metal refining, which means metal purification, production of sodium hydroxide, production of elements like chlorine, aluminum, and magnesium, and electroplating. Electroplating means coating some metals with other metals. When you will be at school, you can try electroplating some iron made with copper. And the diagram of the setup you will have is this one. You have the iron nail connected to the negative terminal of the power supply and the copper rod, which is connected to the positive terminal of our power supply. And we have the electrolyte, which is an aqueous solution of copper two sulfate. Now, as we are near to the end, of our video, let us see how you can test your learning outcome. We have a test at this address, the web address, www.opanda.xyz, and you will log in and use this code 61611 to open the quiz. When you will be done with the quiz, you will submit and I will be able to answer your, the problems you will encounter and help everyone and assist everyone as it will be needed. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope, you, I hope to see you next time for more videos. Bye bye. Oh, genius.